Sheldon with Realty One Group West, and I have my friend Faith Harp with me today from Epic Lending, and we're going to give you some information about the market, the rates, and some few other things. So, hi, Faith. How are hi. you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Okay, so Good. tell us. The market has been a little bit volatile. We have seen rates really hike up from the 2.5% to 5 and now where are we? Sixes. We're in the sixes. So Easily. tell us what's going on a little bit in the market and give us a little insight. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people, when they saw rates come up, they thought automatically um, home prices would basically uh, tumble, Start tanking. tumble right. and that price, the prices would tank and we would go into a major downturn. Right. And that has not happened so. at all. We have seen some stabilization in the market, but generally speaking, Home prices have not tanked, they've remained stable. And as a matter of fact, CoreLogic is predicting that over the next year, we're gonna see on average 3% appreciation. Okay. So 3% on appreciation on a $700,000 house is $21,000, which is relatively substantial. And that is, when you consider a 10% down on a $700,000 house, that's a 30% return on investment, which is mm. relatively substantial Okay. Um, uh, moving forward. Right, okay, so um, so right now we're seeing um, some buyers are being, uh, I guess, a little cautious, mm -hmm. but we're also seeing a lot of, a lot of homes are actually selling. Um, right. we, have, we have more homes on the market, although they're staying on the market a, a little bit longer. So, where a buyer a couple of months ago was able to, um, you know, was really not able to buy a house. It was a very difficult market. Um, 10 offers on one property and then off market within the first 10 days. So now I think a buyer has a little bit more opportunity to actually buy a house at uh, maybe even a little under asking price or at asking price. But we have some tips for you here. So yes. let's keep going. Correct, correct. So buyers are in a great negotiating um, position right now. And one of the key ways that they can negotiate is by getting a lower rate. Well, how are they gonna get a lower rate in this market? Well, there's a couple of things. Uh, they could do a permanent buy down or a temporary buy down. And we're talking about the, uh, something called the buy, a buy down rate. Correct, right. a buy down rate which in essence means that they get a lower payment for the first th one to three years of the loan, or they can even get a permanent buy down. So this is very good for both sellers and buyers to know, and here's, here's why. If you are a buyer and you see a property that's been sitting for a while and you're considering maybe coming in as at asking price or in some cases really below asking price, instead of coming in at below asking price, maybe ask for a seller credit. And that seller credit can be used to permanently or temporarily buy down the rate. And there are different options under the, the, the temporary buy down. You can either buy it down for one year, two year, or three years. Um, we can be very creative with it, but long story short, it can save the buyer money on their payments. Okay. So when, when we're talking about buying down the rate, if a normal rate might be 5% or even 6%, are you saying that you could actually lower your rate for the first year to something like 3%? Correct. Wow, okay. Correct. That's... <laughs> That's very substantial. <laughs> right. Okay, so my next question is then, if you, if, let's say your, your new rate for the first year is 3.5%, and your second year you, you're saying it's going to increase a little bit, so maybe your second year might be 4 or 4.5%. Four Correct. At that point, can you then refinance if you if the rates actually go down there is no prepayment penalty so oh. you can refinance anytime you can okay. refinance after year one you can refinance after month one okay technically most people don't need to do that but really there's no prepayment penalty so someone could purchase the house wait for rates to come down which will eventually happen probably over the next year few years sooner versus later right. and then refinance right well that is uh, really good information. Yes. Buyers, I, I hope you're paying attention to this. <laughs> yes, um, this is very Okay, important. so the next, the next and last thing I want to talk about is the first time home buyer. What that actually means, and most people don't, don't understand that you actually can have bought a house at some time in your life previously. 
So correct. So there's a that. misconception, I think, that first time home buyer means exactly what it says, first time home buyer. Um, but that is not necessarily true. First time home buyer just means that someone has not owned a home over the last three years. Oh, wow. So if they bought and sold over three years ago, then they're considered a first time home buyer. And the key thing with first time home buyers is that they can actually qualify for a lot of the down payment assistance programs that are out there. Right. And the, um, those assistant programs, there's a limit in how much you can make, right? Correct. And uh, that's another thing that is now very different than it was before. Back in the day, we probably recall those programs, but you'd have an income limit of forty to 60000 just giving an estimate. Right now, though, um, with the CalHAFA program, you can get full assistance and you just can't make more than $235,000 in Orange County. Right. And which that's is $230,000 combined. So if you're a couple. Correct. And, okay. Over a year, which right. is a very, right. that's very pretty, generous. That's still pretty high for a, a lot of people. That's They yes. still qualify. So. Correct. Wow. Really good information. Well, thank you so much. I, we're out of time, but I'm really glad you came. I hope you guys all learned something here. I'm Cher Sheldon, Realty One West, 949-315-5500. And Faith? I'm Faith Harp with Epic Lending, 949-705-7473. Great. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.